Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how you can represent any text as a knowledge graph using Infernotus so that you can see the main concepts inside and how they relate to one another and then use the built-in AI to chat with this content and with the knowledge graph and get some insights about the specific relations but also gaps which are present in this content. So that in the end you get something like this where you have a visualization. This is actually a research paper on how Infernodus works that was written four years ago. And uh, for example, here I can see that one of the main clusters is talking about information insight and network analysis. I can select those three terms and ask the AI to generate uh, the content that is derived from this text that explains to me how these particular concepts are actually connected in the context of this document. So that gives you a really interesting and efficient way to jump into the parts of the content that are relevant to you because you see them from the graph and understand the relations between those ideas in a much better way than just saying okay uh, let's say like uh, discourse is what the graph is analyzing this would be too simplistic in fact it's much more complex than that there is much more nuance so Infernodus helps you derive all these relations uh, using the AI and knowledge graph as your tool to kind of navigate through the content. So if you're interested to learn how it works on your own documents, keep watching and I will show it step by step. First of all, you will need to go to the apps page in Infernodus and here I'm going to click add a new text and I'm going to upload this PDF document here. I will name it, give it a different name let's say Infernodus Research, and here I will say analyze only detected entities. So by default it analyzes connections between the words, but if you choose detected entities, the graph is going to be much more sparse and it's just going to show the connections between those entities which it detects in the text. So it's kind of more precise like that. But also you might lose some detail there. There you have a representation of this text as a knowledge graph. The nodes that are bigger are the concepts that are more influential in the original text so we can quickly see visually what this text is about. We see it's talking about discourse bias, Infernodus graph and so on. And we also see which terms tend to appear in the same context together. So if the terms are closer to each other and have the same color it means that those concepts appear in the same context. So for, for example analytics and graph and between the centrality are used in the same sort of context inside this text so they're next to each other and they have the same color. Whereas there's another cluster, for example, on insight and network analysis, which is uh, another part of this discourse. So it gives us a clear visual idea of what this text is about. If you want, you can also toggle this setting here that shows high level ideas. It sends those clusters to the built-in AI and then it generates the names for those topics. So you can quickly see that this text is about network analysis, concept mapping, cognitive bias, and graph analytics. Now, Let's get to chatting with this knowledge graph using the AI. So one of the ways that people usually like to chat with documents is just to ask general questions about like what this text is about. So this you can also do in Infernodus if you click here in the AI module and then you go make an AI query. You actually can ask what is this text about. But I think as you've noticed already, these sort of questions generate very generic responses because you will get a summary but you will not get to the specifics of the text. So this is why it's useful just to get an overview, but you already got this overview by just looking at the graph. So you want to get into more specifics, into the parts of the text which are much more relevant and interesting to you. So how would you do that? You would look at the graph and look at the connections that you find interesting. So for example, uh, I know it's a research paper on Infernodus. I would like to know a little bit more about what it says on insight and network analysis. I can select those two terms and now I can go inside Infernodus uh, and it says generate content related to network analysis and insight and derive from this content uh, context is selected so that means that the content that I'm going to generate now is going, going to be derived from this particular text. I click GPT4 chat and it's going to say how in the context of this particular text those two concepts are related. Now notice how, how it's different from the normal knowledge graphs that you build because in the standard knowledge graphs you all, always try to simplify. You would probably not even have this relation of insight and network analysis because usually knowledge graph 
so they, they will build some kind of connection like uh, let's say graph science is an approach that's used in network analysis that's it but we know this already but what about inside the network analysis and in the context of this particular document it's not going to be just a simple relation such as like it's a part of this or this is how it's derived it's going to be much more nuanced and it's in the nuance that we will find interesting details so here we actually generated uh, the content from this document which explains to us how those two concepts of insight and network analysis are related in this particular document. And this is a big difference. Uh, you're chatting with this document now, but with a much better awareness of what the main concepts are and with a much better understanding of the nuance of those relations. So here it says that, for example, analyzing networks can uncover valuable insights, especially when using tools like Infernodus. Thank you for plugging this in, but it's because it's based on the research paper, so why not? This approach enhances information analysis and research by visually representing data for a better understanding of discourse bias, community structure, word weight, and sentiment within text. So that's great because we get a very clear understanding how in the context of this particular research paper, those two terms, insight and network analysis, are related. Network analysis generates insight by representing uh, visually uh, the community structure or the structure of the text and helping us understand the bias inside. So, this is very interesting. Okay, we can also do another approach. And for example, let's say we look at the graph by itself and we see it has a certain structure, but there will always be gaps in this structure. And this is what Infernodus does very well. It doesn't only identify the main topics found inside the text, so the ones that I showed you here earlier on, but it also shows the blind spots. So which topics could be better connected? And here it identifies two, for example, one on concept mapping and one on graph analytics. And as you can see, they're both present in this text, but they're not used in the same context a lot. This is why they're not so well connected. And usually this is where good ideas are hiding. It's very useful to think of an analogy with the social networks. Imagine that there is a group of words in this text, which, which is called graph analytics. And these are the words that like to hang out together. Uh, in the context of this text, right? So this is like one group that likes to hang out together. And this is another group. They're both important, but they don't really interact so often. So we know from social sciences, if we connect those groups, uh, we will have a high likelihood of some interesting events and ideas coming up. It's actually a research that you can check out uh, on the internet. It's called structural holes or structural gaps, but it's usually made in relation to social networks where you identify how you can identify power brokers. But here's the same thing. You identify the possibility for the connections inside this particular text, uh, thinking of words as, as if they, they were people, actually. So which groups of words you would like to introduce together to generate new ideas. And this is exactly what Infernodus does. It identifies those groups of words, and then it says, okay, uh, you can think of the connection between those two terms. And this is what I like to do first. I don't like to use the AI for that, actually. I like to think of the connection between graph analytics and concept mapping myself. What could be an interesting way to, for example, map concepts using graph analytics uh, insights. So I can think in this direction myself. But if you don't have time or you don't have the answer, you can click inside question and then it will generate a question using the AI but it will derive the ideas from this context. So here we have this selected. It means that the question it generates is still very much related to the text itself. So here it says, how does sentiment analysis of mental gaps in cognitive mapping relate to the visualization of British hatred through graph analytics and discourse bias assessment in text networks? And of course, because it's an AI generated text, sometimes it's gonna be formed in a slightly strange way, but because I know the content of this document a little bit, I know that it's actually taking uh, a specific text on uh, British and hatred, like it's, it's an example that's used inside the text uh, to showcase how that works. And so here it's talking about uh, this thing of how you can actually analyze this sort of discourse, a hatred discourse, like something that we have a lot now on the internet doesn't have to connect with the British hatred, but it gives me an idea to use uh, sentiment analysis of mental maps in cognitive mapping to understand a little bit the uh, hate speech and discourse bias uh, using text networks. So this is a really good way to also generate new ideas. And you can actually generate a bit more questions like this to see if 
if it comes up with anything else that can be interesting for you. So for example, here, a, sh a shorter question, how do cognitive maps and mental models influence discourse bias in text network analysis? Great, we can actually elaborate this question and then we can send this very question that was generated by the AI back to the AI to generate an interesting response to it. And then it will help us generate some idea that will help us discover this discourse further and take it beyond uh, its boundaries, so to say, because those two topics were connected, but not so well. Now we're connecting them to make them connected much better. You can also actually force uh, GPT-4 to hallucinate a little bit more. So you just switch this off, derive from this context is off. So now it's going to generate questions that are also touching on the outside of this context. So not only using the topics from this context, but also using the topics from the outside of this context, right? So here it will be a little bit more open. And if you also click elaborate and deselect this derived from this context, it's going to provide an answer that is going to be taken from all the body of knowledge that is accessible to AI. So it's kind of like a more general response, which will be more open-minded and maybe bring in some concepts inside this discourse that can help you develop it further. So this is also an approach that you can use to kind of transcend this context and go outside of the boundaries of this particular knowledge graph. So this is how it works. You can try it out on your own text. You can also analyze uh, website, content, search results, YouTube videos, anything you want. Infernos has a lot of different import options. And if you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments to this video. You can also uh, contact it using the support portal and we host open support hour every week on Discord on Thursday. So you can also join us and we'll do a live demo for you. And remember to subscribe to this video so you get uh, informed when this channel puts uh, new videos out. Um, like this, you will know when we talk about new features and showcase some really interesting functionalities that we're constantly adding into Infernotus. Thank you very much.